So let's make a um, eagle interceptor. So I need to first of all make the shape for the um, front end of the ship. So I'm going to basically just rough out the shape that I want. Make sure there's no holes in it. And then smooth it down completely. I'm gonna go up another resolution. Might have made it a bit too short, so I'm going to bring it back. Bigger at the front. The one thing that I'm crying out for in, in Oculus Medium is the, the reference images inside VR with you, um, which I can absolutely believe is coming. Um, Obviously, it's memory intensive anyway, as it stands. So to throw that in um, would make the system struggle even more, I guess. Um, the system I'm on is a 32 gig of, of RAM with a 10 series card, a 1070, I think we've got in this one. OK, that'll do. Um, make sure it's absolutely rounded off. There we go. Again, I'm doing this from memory, so it's, it's difficult um, in the extreme. <laughs> Let's find a cube that we've already made. Um, in fact, we could use the default cube and just see how it goes. So we've got to now negatively chew it away. So let's just see what it would look like. So up the resolution a bit more. You can almost see there that the eye that I'm going to cut in because of the white line on it. Let's make the cube a bit bigger. Let's try that. There we go. It's nice. And the same underneath. That will do us. I can paint that to black later on. So. I'm going to keep the box actually because on the interceptor, if I remember, it had uh, not the interceptor, so that's an angel interceptor. I'll probably do one of them next. On the eagle, <clears throat> it had a bit here, so that's going to work. So let's get the the right tools for the job out. So let's get um, going the wrong way here. So let's use line. I'm going to line everything up to either this line or this line now. <clears throat> so we will bring it back this way. And again, got something in the middle. I mean, if ever there was a piece of software crying out for some form of snapping, this is it. Um, this is good for hard surface to some degree, but gosh, it could be a lot better. I mean, I'm pretty much doing it all, all the hard surface stuff just by eye, which is never a good thing with hard surface, as anyone who does it for a living will know. Just chamfering stuff off. Cool. And there's a, there's a, if I remember rightly, there's a grid above that. So I'm half tempted to go back out and have a look again. Uh, I had a quick look before, obviously I came in to the medium. But 
but as I say, I'm doing this bit from memory from that little look at the, the Google search. Now, one that needs to be really accurate is going to be this over the top. So I'll try and line it up as best as I can. Cubes moved off the axis a little bit there, so let's try that. Maybe a bit higher. There we go. And we'll do the grids above that. So I'm fine with that. It's just a layout block, really, that one. Gosh, I don't know why I would do this with a very organic package as opposed to um, something that's built for it, but it's certainly good fun trying it. Let's do a bit of paneling. Again, I don't know what paneling there is on these things, so this is totally flying in the wind here. Now, what I do know is the big legs out here, blocks, which is their main leg. Which is that? Chamfer off all of them. Whoops, a daisy. Chamfer off. See how that block is off. Kill to then you'll never get it right if that's off. Um, like I'm not getting it right now. Line that up. See how, uh, how it just isn't. There we go. It's getting better now. Sure, it's nothing like this, but I think it's quite fun just trying to remember it from a quick little bit of research I did. Oops, so easy. Lost it there for a sec. So let's put some feet on it. Um, it should be like this. Again, I've no idea. Let's 
what I think I'll do is I'll add in some feet that I've made. <clears throat> so these are all my brushes that I've made for this kind of job. I've got a couple of bits that are suitable and ready for the feet. Now, even do a bit of structure down here. Definitely going to need some higher resolution in a moment. There we go, it's getting there now. It's not far off. Let's cut some of this away. Adding some of that interest back in. Actually, I suppose I could say it's a, a converted one, just to get away with uh, doing it badly. Some undercarriage in there. See, that's just not high enough res at all. So now, not to make the whole thing too heavy, I'm going to go up a resolution. Layer two, two levels of resolution. Just, oh, still not enough. Another level. Might do well if we just switch single on now. No, it's because it's so small, because the piece that I'm trying to add in is so tiny. It's, if I made this a lot bigger and snapped it, Imagine even that's not brilliant. So I'm gonna risk it one more higher. That's a bit better. Use that bit of suspension as well. Cool, let's get in there. Yeah, quite happy with that. Now, what I think I'll do is um, previous layer, I'm going to duplicate over the top. Nope, didn't work. So, again, snapping here would be perfect. Duplicate. worked and now remove him try and line him up not too bad maybe a bit further Again, a plan here would be slightly massively helpful. Let's see what I'm doing. Chew the bits away that I don't want now. Let's 
There we go. I'm just checking I can go outside there, which I can. Um, I'll carry on with this crossbar now. got a singular on which doesn't help. Last part. Yeah, that's great. Got a bit of visual interest in there. Cool. Now, fun bit. Let's do some cross beams. So, again, I don't know without going out and looking, which I can't be bothered doing. I can just use something that I've got a uh, new layer. And we'll go resolution one, resolution two. Let's start putting some framework in. slightly out then if you know this does really matter that's great now there's be a gridding all the way along there and gridding down the side here so i'll put um some grid in here oh god there'd be mates of mine laughing at me Trying to do a an eagle without reference. Slightly embarrassing actually. Here we go. And then we'll start popping. Oh, let's go back to single. Getting a little bit of overlap there, but I don't mind because it's, that's going to be, what I'm always trying to do is make sure there's something to catch the light and that should really catch the light. Um, single off again. Make sure you fill that in if you're going to do this because it quite the way I did it, it was quite spotty, if you know what I mean. There was lots of gaps in there which weren't good. Um, let's put some visual cross beams in here. Now, I do remember that they had Actually, do you know what? I'm going to do this and then delete them at the top. Get rid of those top ones now because that clearly isn't right. Okay. 
Yeah, that's better. Make sure we're on single again. I actually really like the line tool now. Found it quite frustrating at first, but I've grown to love it. I don't really need these, but I'm just putting a bit of. Again, just a bit of way, a bit of ways to catch light. That's not too bad, actually. It's not a million miles off. Oh, I hope this is recording. I never, I'm talking away and I haven't actually stopped to check if it's recording. Because I'll be quite frustrated now if it isn't. There we go. Now engines are going to be fun. So, um, lots of different ways to do engines. Um, but the way that I'm favoring, I'll show you is this, um, new layer. Just give me something to reference to. So, uh, let's use, um, use one of these as a, as a turn, um, turn, all of these visually off. Okay, and he's in there, that's fine. Upper resolution, upper resolution, turntable. Now, which way was it? Um, that way. So what I'm gonna do is make a lathe. Um, which is what I've done here now. Oops. Turn something back on. Let's just delete him first. So we don't need him. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna now basically lathe a um uh a set of engines really. So let's just show you what I mean. Well, single won't help, will it? So let's just see what happens. Is that still single? No. Ah, idiot. So I need to take line off. We'll get there in a moment. Right, here we go. So now I've got to stay really still. While we lathe something. <laughs> Lay the couple of engines now. Doesn't look the cleanest yet, but let's try smooth that down. It's working well the inner part let's change the model to something like this um, and then get it set how we want it there we go you want some roughness I wouldn't go too smooth
Cool. And then the pit. Let's make some. Put some. Put some. Again, as I keep calling it, visual interest then. Keep filling this up nicely. Try a completely different shape and see if we can get something else. A bit more appealing down the bottom end. Let it cook a bit longer. Yeah, that's cool. So, I'll turn that off. What we'll do is we'll make that layer a stamp. I won't delete that layer at the moment anyway. What we'll do is switch everything back on. We'll see what we look like size wise. Um, so obviously that's huge. So we'll keep that as a nice central engine. positioning it all nicely might be a bit too big actually yeah it is I'm going to delete it and we can redo these guys directly from the back so I won't put them straight on I'll do some add these in first uh, give them a new layer So again, don't don't worry too much about the initial messiness, and also put some randomness in. And then I think there's, if I remember rightly, there was two engines, four engines. So let's get some scale here. So like that, yeah. So we'll go for one at the top, one at the bottom, and two at each side. So we'll. Him in like so. so that works well and then turn symmetry off on that and one there cool and there's some nice engine parts and then you can add in a bit of complexity with this because this is going to be randomized a bit Maybe even internals. Don't know. I've got no idea what these look like at all. I'm going with a kind of jet engine look. Um, and now, my favourite bit of the day. Let's add some ridiculous piping this is a bit I enjoy more than anything because you can hide all your mistakes not taking any time over this at all because it's all so random and 
always put a load at the bottom. There we go. It's held up quite nicely. So let's put some, um, ooh, let me think. Go back to this, add some. Keep forgetting to put that single back on. Just want it to look a bit different back to front really, and symmetrically as well. And I also need connectors here and here. And a bit more greeble in there as well. Randomly adding greeble in the corner there. Um, so let's get one of the blocks that we use a lot, this one. Can't remember what I made this for, but it's been so useful for so many jobs. And we'll go new, because we want one more. No, one more. What I might do is just try it with a line, first of all. Not absolutely confident that this will be any use, but this didn't work, did it? Just see what happens. Oh no, bugger. Line and single doesn't work. No, that's not too bad. Now if I go singularly, yeah, that's cool. Could be a mistake going up a res at this stage, but you have to be careful. Um, I'm going to put boxes on the front of this, so this is not totally an area to focus on worrying about, really. Put the line back on and then single off. No, too much. But I like the speed. No. Nope. That's cool. Yeah, that was what I wanted. Chew some of that away. Super nice greeble underneath. Oh, we'll get there in a moment. Um, I 
go one more layer. Uses a cutting tool, so I again need to get it the edge correct. Because I'm going to cut across. A few of them. Right. Take a single off. those great big arms that hold them on we'll do claspers or calipers or something that hold them up yeah that's cool Did we go too far? No, no, no. Cool. We'll do. And on that layer now, we'll have some serious piping. We get one to every one, one main pipe to every one, one back. Got to keep turning this around to make sure. It looks functional, especially when you start randomizing stuff like I'm doing now. There's not enough visual interest here at the front on this bit. So first of all, a little bit of pipe work will always help. And then we probably need to cut some blocks in. Uh, so go back to single, back to stamps. Use our trusty shapes that aren't just straightforward blocks. It's got a good angle to do it. Yeah, 
Let's put some interest in like this. Almost looks like engine block parts. Nothing more than just breaking up the silhouette, really. I'll tell you what would be nice, these arms here get some... Um, I've got some... Let me think what I've got. thought I had, I thought I'd made, which I mustn't have done, I thought I'd made some plates that I could use, I could quickly remake some but it doesn't matter, there we go, actually I think that'll do it, put some tiny detail on that front nose cone. Again, very little bits of surface detail is all that needs. Uh, there we go. It's like an hour into uh, an hour. Eagle. Let's mess around with some lighting with him. So let's get him spinning. Cool. And now where's our light? Bring our light in. Let's give it some spacey light. Which would mean I would need. Uh, go back here. Settings. And then we need. Background color. Super space. And then some brightness. Get that down. Sun color. I'll go for a spacey greeny blue. Get there in a moment. There we go. Almost there. There we go. Just trying it in different lighting scenarios now, trying to get that. Harsh space light. Let's take some pictures and there he is locked. So I'll take some pictures with, uh, <clears throat> let's have a look. Field of view for this, I can get away with it being quite wide. Maybe not that wide. I might even paint this one now because it's quite fun. I'll clean him up and then paint him. I'm not liking the lighting now. Um, 
There we go. Let's take him from this side now. I'm almost tempted to make the moon base now, but uh, maybe not today. What I like about this camera is the fact that it captures everything in, even though it does LODs and goes down the levels in the, the model over here, what you're seeing me capturing is quite high res, which is nice. Let's just do one little turntable. Do it at this level. Make sure I capture it. And then we'll do it over a little bit further away. Give it two or three spins. And there we go.